What's going on, guys? It's Aaron here, and today I'm playing I Love You, Colonel Sanders. Uh, finger licking date sim. So, I haven't played this before. I've heard about it. Um, I'm a little bit skeptical on how this is going to go because I'm not good at date sims. I've played like a couple before, and I was never really decent at it. So, yeah, this is going to be kind of interesting to see how I do. So, ladies and gentlemen, without further ado, there's the colonel, looking all uh, suave as an anime uh, dating character. I've, like I said, I've only played like a couple of these, and I've never really been good at dating sims. So let's start a new game. Our name: Spicy McNugs. I think that's a great name for a dating sim character. Now we just wait for the loading to finish. And I will say it's probably going to take a second just because my computer is, my laptop that I'm playing on today is kind of outdated. I need a new laptop. Um, might come in the future when I can afford to do that right now. I can't, so. This is, I can't wait to see how this is going to turn out. There we go. You sleep softly as the morning sun casts a warm glow through the window of your modest student apartment. The world is peaceful and serene. You could stay in this moment forever. Or you could wake up now, now, now. Your first day of culinary school is no time to sleep in. Well, smack that clock. Lying in bed, you stare at the ceiling, thinking about everything that awaits you at the prestigious University of Cooking School, Academy for Learning. Your mind begins to wander. Who will be there? What will you cook? What should you wear? Time begins to fly by, and you find your imagination getting away from you. I'm going to daydream a bit. It's here finally, your first day of culinary school. So many dishes to prepare. So many students to meet. Your mind is swimming with possibilities. When you realize you're running late, you grab a biscuit and burst out the door in a hurry. Better be a colonel. It better be a cake. Oh my god. Mmm, delicious. Just what you need to wake up for the wake up those taste buds. A KFC, a KFC biscuit. Yikes, you're in such a hurry, in fact, that you forgot to put on any deodorant before running out the door. You're sweating buckets as you rush to arrive in time. on time. Uh-oh. Standing in the quad, you gaze upon the magnific magnificent University of Cooking School Academy for Learning. That is a long name for a culinary school. Turn my mic a little bit this way. There we go. Here comes your lifelong best friend forever, Miriam. She is the most adorable, awkward person you've ever met. She kind of looks like Tracy. Tracy, we found your anime character there. And you absolutely love her for it. Good morning, Spicy McNugs. Are you excited for the first day of the rest of our lives? Yes, I am. Actually, um... Because I sure am. Excited! A little nervous? Okay, okay. A lot nervous. What the... What's the... It's just that this morning I made breakfast for myself, but, well, when I ate it, I couldn't taste any love in the food. What if I'm no good? What if I fail? Classic Miriam, raised by Master Chef parents, she's always held herself to a very high standard. Ever since we were little babies playing together, you rescued me from that quicksand box. <laughs> oh my god. It's been like, it's been clear to me that you're the most loving, caring person I know. You're going to do great. But with University of Cooking School Academy for Learning's famous three-day only sem semesters, I'm afraid of being left behind and never catching up. Oh god, oh god, there's a time limit. Three days. Jesus. A sweet girl, Miriam, has always a sweet girl. Miriam has always been a, a flair for the dramatic, or always had a flair for the dramatic. This summer, she got so nervous about her first kiss that she chipped a tooth practicing on a mannequin. Should you pep talk her? Or she, I'm pep talking her. Come on, remember last month when we saw that fortune teller and had our tarot cards read? That lady with the mask who gave uh, who gave me nightmares? I've been trying to forget. I know she looks spooky, but she was so sweet, and she told you that we you were destined for great things. I'm terrible at pep talking, apparently. Remember that card with the fancy-looking tower, and the other card featuring the handsome fellow in a red suit? I've been waiting so long to meet a handsome fellow I could call my own. And I'm sure you will soon. In no time, there will be, we'll be graduating, and you will be delighted the world with... Okay, this shows just how terrible of a reader I am. You'll be delighted, delighting the world with your help, your heartfelt cooking in no time at all. See, I'm butchering the reading. As you talk, as you talk Miriam up, you can feel her nerves begin to ease. Way to go! 
you know what, maybe maybe everything will be okay after all. And if not, at least I have the, these killer bangs. Yes, yeah, she does. She actually has nice bangs. Can you believe I cut them myself? You can definitely believe it. I, uh, I cannot believe it. Before you get another word out, you're rudely interrupted when someone smacks your books and custom engraved measuring spoons out of your hands and onto the ground. Hey! It's Ashley, your arch rival, who works at... Who looks like she works at freaking, uh... Chick-fil-A. She's totally evil, and you can't help but be filled with jealousy. She can she can get anything she wants, and we know it. I mean, I see why. She's got a heart-shaped cleave. Sorry, I'm just pointing that out. Hello, Ashley. It's Ashley. Oh, I didn't see you there, chicken shins. You leave spicy McNug's shins alone. They are perfectly normal shins. You can't stand Ashley. Even her name is annoying. You know for a fact it's actually Ashley. But she had to add extra letters to make herself feel better than everyone. <laughs> I like that. Oh my god, that was a great insult. If anyone here knows what's perf what perfect shins looks like, it's us. We're not going to let you have your, your really weird insults get to us. Across the quad, you see Ashley's best friend, Van Van the Man Man, has stopped to look at his own reflection in the Van Van the Man Man. This is gonna be fun. Uh, his pants are so tight you can actually see him working out it, casually working out his glutes while he stares at his hair. No lie, they're rocking glutes. Ahem, <clears throat> Van Van? You rang rang. You've never been sure what their arrangement is, but you, as long as you've known them, Ashley and Van Van have been just as close as you and Miriam, but substan substantially more devious. I can't believe the University of Cooking School Ac Academ Academy, wow, I am just like losing it so far. Academy for Learning would uh, ever, ever allow people like you to attend as students. I know, right? You'd think they'd just hand us our diplomas now. Or maybe hire us on as professors. You amateurs could learn a lot from us. With the first day of school about to start, there's just no, no, there's, there's just not time to properly tell these two off. So you resist the urge. Let's go, Miriam. Shh. See you later, losers. As you approach the store, you see a goofy-looking kid pushing hard against the window directly next to it. Ugh. Oopsie. I think it's broken. You reach forward and easily pull the door open. Uh, that should do the trick. I love you. I think you. I think you mean thank you. My name is Pop. I was named after my Pop. Pop. He's old. Could someone like this also be a student at this school? He must be one heck of a chef. Also, his name tag clearly says Bob. But I guess he's reading it upside down. Hi, Pop. I'm Spicy McNug, so... Are you going to make him hold the door all day? Are you going to make me hold the door all day? Nope! And with that, the young man walks into the building ahead of you. Is it just me or is, that, or is he kind of cute? I think it's just you. You both shrug your shoulders before following him into the building. You stand at the edge of the room, unsure where to sit. Other students wander and keep themselves busy chit-chatting. A scruffy-looking pooch takes its place at the podium at the front class. Oh my god, adorable. Now, now, quiet down, everyone. Who is this unreasonably cute pup, and why is he in our culinary class? You must be Sprinkles, head instructor and CEO of... Uxale? UCS, okay. Please call me Professor Dog. I may be cute and little and fluffy, but I still demand respect. Woof. What? A cute dog is our professor? This is the best school ever. I guess only a dog's nose is capable of picking up all the nuances of fine dining. Out of nowhere, it begins to the wind begins to rush around you as a swirl of cherry blossom petals fill the air inside the classroom. Oh my god. I'm chilly, someone close the window. And then he walks in. You're immediately swept up in the aura of this new student and his remarkable goatee. Who knew anyone could be so handsome? Time stands still. It's him. It's... If it isn't my favorite student, Harland. Colonel Sanders <laughs> interrupts Sprinkles. Sorry, Professor Dog. Before... <laughs> Sorry, Professor Dog. Before he can finish his sentence. Please call me Colonel. Colonel Sanders. A hushed murmur rolls through the classroom as Colonel Sanders walks down the aisle of a desk. Suddenly the room is sweltering. Sweat begins to beat across your brow. You feel like everyone is looking at you, and you're not entirely wrong. Ugh. 
And this over here must be sweaty, sweaty sweats a lot. Maybe we should open the window back up before pa faucet pits melts into a puddle and evaporates entirely. Hold on just a second. Nobody talks about my friend like that. You two both don't know my name. We were in the same kindergarten class. And what is with you all? Okay, that's actually supposed to be me reading that. Sorry. Besides, when Spicy McNug sweats, it's not gross. It's beautiful. Look at that shimmer. You turn to find Colonel Sanders standing right in front of you. Colonel Sanders, beautiful angel that he is, stands before you, smiling gently, his hand outstretched. Boy, howdy, this classroom gets hotter than, Kentucky, than a Kentucky fryer. Please use my handkerchief. He frees up as Colonel Sanders is talking to you. Wait, Colonel Sanders is talking to you about how sweaty you look. You're completely mortified. This cannot be your first interaction. What if he never forgets this moment? How do I... I'll take the handkerchief. You stretch out your hand and Colonel Sanders places a fine silk handkerchief in it. It's so beautiful, you hesitate to press, press it to your face. But when you do, the feeling is transcendent. It has his natural scent on it. It smells of the most delicious chicken you've ever smelled. Oh my god. Oh my god. I can't believe I'm playing this right now. <sighs> Professor Dog steps in to settle the class down and set some ground rules. Welcome to the University of Cooking School Academy of Learn for Learning, the greatest culinary academy in the world. The, birth, the birthplace of culinary legends past, present, and future. Many challenges await you. There will be tears. There will be blood. There might even really be adorable tiny food. And when all is said and done, there will be a battle. You will lift your sporks and compete in the broom cooking arena. Just then, another student enters the classroom and interrupts the professor's rousing speech. Hi guys. Sorry I'm late. I hope everyone had a good summer. I really miss... Quiet. Late to class is bad enough, but interrupting my monologue? You're on the fast track out of here, young man. Are you Are you sure you even, you're even in the right place? Don't you recognize me? This is my third year in this school, with you as my teacher. Everyone stares at him blankly. Does no one remember me? I'm... You're expelled if you utter one more word before I finish. Let that be a lesson to you students, that tardiness is unacceptable. Even Clank made it here on time, rolling halfway across town on his tiny wheels. You turn to see the student Sprinkles is referring who appears to be some sort of industrial kitchen appliance. <laughs> Where The class bursts out in the laughter. Oh Clank, you rascal. Sprinkles walks into the classroom. Uh, Sprinkles walks into the classroom as everyone stands in silent obedience. When he gets to you, he lifts his nose in the air and takes a deep sniff. Your diet is lacking. Based on what I'm picking up here, you definitely need a multivitamin. You should be taking better care of yourself. You've never had a talking dog as a teacher before, but Sprinkles' reputation for being smart but tough is well known. What kind of what what you decide to butter him up by giving him? A treat from your pocket, but what kind? I think I'm gonna go with a chicken snack. You reach beneath your apron and return with a chicken snack in your hand. Sprinkles' eyes go wide as he locks onto it. His favorite. Yes! Yes! I, I'm dating simming! <sighs> that has been so hard for me to ever get in. Well, well, well. I think we might be some kind of, there might be some com competition for our new star student. The furry professor immediately devours the snack, leaving your hand slick with a coating of warm doggy drool. I said... Yep, that's drool. I had a little spot on my screen. Uh, you see uh, the other students eyeing you jealously, but pay no mind to them. If they wanted to succeed in life, they should have learned the importance of carrying a range of dog treat flavors on them at all times. Settle down, young chefs. Take your seats and prepare to have your minds opened by the amazing to the amazing possibilities of culinary creation. As everyone rushes to claim their favorite seats, you're left standing at the front of the room. Only two options remain. Hey, Spicy Mugs, there's still a seat here. It seems that no one has claimed the seat next to me, if you're interested. Do I betray Miriam? Or do I go for the Colonel? Miriam? Colonel. Miriam? Colonel. I'll sit by Miriam. You move to take your seat by Miriam. I'm so glad you have, you have 
to have you near me to support me through this class. Of course, you're my best friend. Who else would I sit by? Colonel Sanders? He has such a magnetic personality, and there's a seat open right next to him. If you had sat there, you might have gotten to know him a little better. Oh, I'm already messing up. I'd never sacrifice our friendship. Besides, I'm sure I'll get a chance to talk to him later in the semester. I've got three whole days that's like a lifetime. So you say, but now that Miriam mentions it, the cur that Colonel Sanders is just so darn dreamy. As soon as you settled into your seat, the professor makes an announcement. Think test. It's time for a pop quiz. Yay, a quiz about me. This is incredibly important and surprisingly short quiz. Will tell me all if you're ready to, for life as a culinary school. Keep your knives sharp and your focus sharper. Here comes question number one. If a train is traveling, if train A is traveling to point A and train B is traveling to point A, how important is it to wash your hands before cooking? Extremely. That's right. Forest is a forest is to tree as chicken is to. Should I say something wrong? I'll say feather. That's right. I don't want to. I don't want to mess up. I do like the night vision goggles. What is the most efficient eating utensil ever created? A comically oversized spork, a fork, a meat tenderizer, or a spork? A spork. That's right. What food is what food is best for a broken heart? Camel meat. A pancake that looks like a silly face. As long as anything, as long as it's prepared with love and not too much salt. Now, see, I disagree. I love salt. I love salty flavors. I don't. I don't know. Maybe that's just me. That's right. Is Sprinkles a good boy? He's a talking dog that teaches culinary school. He's the best boy. That's right. Perfect score. Five out of five. Well, be honest. Did you cheat? You look up and see that Colonel Sanders has been watching you tally your score. He's impressed. I know we just met, but I have to confess. I think you have a beautiful brain. Hot diggity, Spicy McNugs. You just scored some major Colonel Sanders points for that performance. May I have your attention, students? I have an important announcement to make. Time for lunch. Okay, guys, I think I'm going to stop here for a moment because I really need to let my mind kind of, like, clear up. But anyway, thank you all so much for watching. Make sure you like, comment, subscribe. Check us out on Facebook, Twitter, and Instagram. Leave a comment below. Let us know what you thought of today's Let's Play or what you'd like to see us play next. You can also uh, click on the bell icon. That'll keep you up to date with what we're playing. Uh, look into the links for look into links or look in the description for some links to Tracy's Awesome Works, Magical Nico Notes, Will's Awesome Book, The Keeper Chronicles, Tome of Knowledge, Casey's Awesome Cosplay, uh, The Queen of Chibi Land, and uh, the link for this game will probably be in the description below as well. Uh, so anyway. Thank y'all so much for watching, and uh, we'll see y'all in the next video.